everybody. Oh my, what a relatable topic. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your talk, uh, speech. First of all, your speech aligns with the uh, project objective very well. And that starts with even before your speech started. And I saw your title of your speech and I, immediately that grabbed my attention. <laughs> I was curious about how you're going to elaborate you know, on that topic. And that you you give you delivered a very well structured speech. You start with a question that's relatable to everyone. I sure felt that that way every day. And then you progress into telling a story about you know your story for coming up with a speech that you know with the uh, facing the uh, procrastination. And then you end your speech with a conclusion that has a question also echoes with the topic. I really like that uh, structure. I can clearly see the start progression at the end. And second, I like the uh, how you deliver the speech as well. You had a really good eye contact. Your body movements look natural and you look comfortable taking the stage, giving the speech, and you're mixing lots of jokes. All of those help the audience engagement and to help us follow your story and concentrate. And that's very nice as well. Some things that I feel that you can improve upon to bring your speech to a higher level. First is I think uh, you can express, you can practice on um, the vocal variety a little bit more. Um, for example, you can change your space or change your tone a little bit more to a higher degree. Uh, when you're saying, talking about you wake up in the morning, getting ready for facing, you know, the challenge yet again, you can, <laughs> you can, you can, you can use higher tones or show some more excitement and. When you are facing your procrastination again, you can slow down your uh, face a little bit more, show some frustration. Mm -hmm. um, and then second, I think you can use more exaggeration to for, for how to express your emotions. Since you're telling a story, I think that's particularly useful and important. When you say you start to panic, uh, instead of saying instead of saying that in a very relaxed <laughs> facial impression, you can you know, do more movements to show you're really panicking, uh, things like that. Um, and then your conclusion, I felt like you could, it's a really good conclusion, but I think you can make it a little bit more stronger to summarize and to give more impact to the audience, to make it more memorable. Um, but overall, I like your speech, you have a really good structure, you deliver um, to the objective of your project. And I think if you, if you can practice um, some of the things that I talked about, it would be much better. Thank you. Yay.